Now I think it goes without saying, don't try this at home. This is the newest tractor on the market and we're gonna find just how much weight it takes to tip this thing over. Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we have a fun one for you with the Summit Tractor. We're gonna be testing out the front end loader, just how much it can lift. You can see that big old stack of weights that are right back there. We're gonna be loading up that stack of weights there in the bucket, see how much it can lift up, maybe how much you can get off the ground, how much to full height, give you some real world applications. But that's not it. You guys know I'm a big proponent of tractor safety and all those weights right there typically go on the back side of your tractor. You gotta have ballast weight counterweight because when you're lifting up your front end loader, the back side's gonna wanna tip up too treating this front axle as your, your fulcrum or your pivot point. So teeter-tottering right on there, you need to stabilize the back end to lift more on the front end. We're gonna show you how you do that today. Now we've told you previously that Summit's goal is to have a tractor that's ready to get to work as soon as you get it home, including some huge features like a self-leveling loader, grapple-ready hydraulics up front, and a rear remote. But there's one other huge feature that you need to have, which you can't see, it's right inside these tires here. It's called liquid ballast. And in this case, it's RimGuard, okay? They are the name brand, almost like the Kleenex of liquid ballast in the tractor world. So we have Bob Fenton with RimGuard today to tell you more about it. Bob, I wanna thank you for meeting me out here in the middle of a field today. <laughs> really appreciate it. Can you tell us more about RimGuard? Well, thanks for having me, Courtney. I do appreciate it. We love talking about RimGuard. RimGuard is an all natural tire ballast product. It's derived from the sugar beet processing plants and the process of creating molasses and then it's the last product in the line. We take it back to our facility and we turn it into liquid tire ballast and it's got some great features. One, it's safe for livestock. Two, it freezes at minus 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So it continues to roll around in your tire even on the coldest days. And then it's the heaviest natural tire ballast product out there at almost 11 pounds per gallon. It won't corrode your rim. It adds weight, safety, and performance to your tractor. Today, we've got it in the Summit unit, which is a great, great tractor. We also sell it in a dealer network that's in every state in the United States, 1,250 dealers total. And we service Kubota, John Deere, Mahindra, you name the brand, you can get the product in your tire. If you're wondering how many gallons of RimGuard's beet juice tire ballast will go into your tires, we have a simple process for that. You can go onto our website and simply take your tire size and put it in our tire fill chart and it will tell you how many gallons and how many pounds that will add up to for your tire. We have over 2200 tires in the system. If your tire is not in there, just send us a note and we'll add it to it. And a question for you folks watching, a lot of you out there have rim guard in your tires right now, or maybe even another liquid ballast, but tell us, does it make a difference? There's a lot of new tractor owners out there that don't know either way. So if you do have something to share, let us know by leaving a comment down below. Okay, so we're gonna get to the demonstration here in just a minute, but first I have one more question for Bob. I am asked a lot if you should load the front tires on your tractor. That's a great question. Loading the front tires is a question that a lot of people ask, shouldn't we do it? You really shouldn't need to. You've got a fair amount of weight on the front end of the tractor, especially with a bucket or grappler on the front to begin with. You also, if you're working on flat level ground, you shouldn't need it. In some cases for safety, to lower the center of gravity, certain customers do want to see if they can ballast the front tires. And we understand that. Lowering the center of gravity adds an element of safety to your performance, but you wouldn't want to do it without checking with your dealer and checking your owner's manual. We don't want to do anything that would void a warranty. If you do decide to ballast the front tires, check with your dealer and make sure you get the weight balance from front to back so that your unit runs well. Just recognize that you are putting some additional strain on the front end of the unit when you ballast the front tires. Alrighty folks, we're gonna to get to the demonstration now. <laughs> gonna be a lot of work lifting all these weights into the bucket. Several things you wanna pay attention to, all right? So we're gonna be using just the bucket I want you to be aware that if you have a set of pallet forks on here, all right, where a load point could be further out, that is going to affect the amount of weight you can pick up. But we're gonna be testing how much we can lift off the ground, how much we can lift to full height. And we're gonna do that with and without rim guard in those rear tires to see the difference it makes in both positions. And the part I'm looking forward to is we're gonna find out just how much weight it takes to tip this tractor over. Hang on. <sighs> Ah. 
All right, so we've got 12 70 pound suitcase weights in there, 840 pounds. Gonna see if it lifts it all the way up. So it wouldn't lift 840 pounds to full height. Let's see how it does with 700. And one more. Take that out, put in a 41 pound. So we've got 741 pounds, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus a 41, yeah. All right, so we were able to lift 741 pounds. We're just using the suitcase weights we have, so it's not precise, but it's pretty darn close. Um, all the way to full height, and bear in mind that you do have the weight of the bucket on here too. So you're lifting that extra weight, a couple hundred pounds, uh, perhaps that is on top of it. So if you did have a set of pallet forks, um, it's gonna be probably pretty equivalent on a tractor this size. So Use that as your own judgment there on what you may be able to lift up. So now, let's see how much we can lift off the ground. see it wiggling it's off the ground it's free so that's 15 weights uh a thousand and fifty pounds that are lifted off the ground all right so i wanted to get creative kind of give you another real world data point and we don't have forks on it we're going to use the bucket still but that way you can kind of know if you want to lift something off of a trailer and lower it to the ground how much you could actually lift because i think you can lift more weight versus trying to lift it up off the ground. I think you can lift more weight just enough right here to get it off of um, a trailer deck and then down to the ground. You know, if you want to offload something from the back of a semi, that'd be a little bit higher, but just another real world application for you versus just specs that are found online. So we're going to see how high this deck is. And then we're going to set our bucket about an inch higher so you could like lift something off of it. You know, basically three foot, right? It's a hair under about 35 inches, but we'll call it three foot. We'll set our, our bucket to that height and see how much it'll lift.
down to 35 inches. All right, well, it was getting a little crazy there, so we had a, a 41 pound on top here too. So we were 1,021 pounds that we had lifted at 36 inches off the, off the ground. That's about as dangerous as I'm gonna get with that thing. So I think what we're gonna do, keep it about a foot off the ground, keep stacking weight on there, see when those rear tires leave the ground. And a little and a little push that's a lot of weight 22 times 70 1581 is that right yep. wow alrighty folks well I think if we did our math right it's 1581 pounds we had 22 70 pound weights plus that 41 pound weight every every weight that we had out here and then as soon as I pushed down a little bit the rear tires started to go. It was a, it was a good couple inches off of the ground. Um, I threw that one weight off and, and kind of held down over on this side, but that's a heck of a lot of weight. Now you could not pick this up off the ground, all right? But if you had a load, say you're loading bags of stone or something else in there just to transport it around, you could start with it off the ground and then move it from point A to point B. But did you see what happened there? As soon as I put a little bit of weight on the front, it started to tip. You know, if you get to that max load and you're driving, this is stationary, but if you're driving along and you hit a rut or a pothole or something covered in the weeds that you don't see, you're gonna be tipped over in the blink of an eye before you can do anything about it. Now, I think it goes without saying, don't try this at home. Leave this to, well, I'm not a professional, but you know what I mean. Just don't do it, all right? But we're just maxing this thing out, seeing what the potential is. But now we wanna show you the difference that rim guard and the rear tires can make. Okay, so we're getting all set up to fill these rear tires here, but I have one more question. Just thought of it, but a lot of folks want to know, can I fill the tires myself at home with rim guard? That's a great question, and anything is possible. First, it's cost prohibitive to ship rim guard in small quantities because it's so heavy. Second, we always prefer to have a professional technician work with tires and load tires with liquid. In the event that you feel compelled to fill a tire yourself, we'd recommend you go to one of our dealers. You can go right on our dealer locator on our website find a local dealer and purchase the product directly from them. But you'll need a fair amount of equipment to be able to get the air out of the tire, low enough to be safe, and then to reload it with liquid. All right, well, big thanks to Ben. That is the entire process encapsulated. I've never seen it more detailed than what you just saw on having the rim guard put inside the tires. It's gonna make the tractor a lot safer. And again, a lot of you guys watching already own a tractor with rim guard, but you're gonna get your tractor from Summit already set up with rim guard inside it. Earlier on, we did the max lift test. We had this raised a foot off the ground, put every weight we had in it, and then gave it a shake, and that tractor started to tip. So we're gonna see if rim guard makes a difference. Do the same thing, we're gonna load it up, a foot in the air, give it a shake, and see what happens. made a difference. That's all I can get it to do. I can't get it to tip. I didn't do this. Alrighty, so you saw I was jumping up and down in that bucket. I could not get it to rock and roll like I was before, so that definitely made a difference. So again, rim guard is part of your ballast solution, all right? If you watched our other videos, you know 
you want some wheel weights or three-point ballast, ballast box, suitcase weights, and a rack, something else along with that, maybe an attachment too. But I think it's worth pointing out just how heavy this tractor is. Summit says it's heaviest in class, and I have to believe it. We lifted 741 pounds, I think it was, to full height. Didn't feel tippy at all on the tractor. It was kind of surreal. I didn't expect that to happen. So right out of the gate, you have a lot more kind of junk in the trunk on this tractor, so to speak. You have the loaded tires, so you're well ahead of the game compared to the competition. So again, the Summit tractor is just ready to get to work. You have the self-leveling loader, the grapple-ready third function hydraulics up front, the rear remote, and of course, the rim guard liquid ballast in your tires. It's been a great day today. I am proud to partner with Summit and with rim guard. Thanks for coming out today, Bob. Thanks, Courtney. We really appreciate it. We love partnering with GoodWorks Tractor and with Summit Tractor. They're one of the few manufacturers that actually ballast the tires at the factory so you receive the tractor safe and ready to operate. We really love that about them. If you decide that Summit is the tractor for you, you're buying a very safe unit. If you decide to buy another brand, please check our site, rimguardsolutions.com, and check our dealer locator. You can find one of our 1,250 dealers in any state in the United States. Hey, and don't forget, if you are looking for an attachment for your tractor, maybe for the front end loader or the three-point hitch, we're happy to help. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. Check out goodworkstractors.com. And if you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you're so inclined, leave a comment too. Thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.